All right, guys. Um, I just did a video on how do I put up my bobcats, but um, I have a couple furs that are dried, a badger, and a couple cats ready to come off stretchers. Um, so I thought I'd just make a short video on that. Um, oops. Decent cat um, for Arizona. Um, you know, pretty good heft on this guy. Um, actually, this is a girl. This is a female. Um, so that's good. Um, I put the date of when I put it up on my stretchers because I'd like to know how many days it's been on there. And, and that also, you know, along with gauging the cartilage in the ears, uh, helps me know when I when it's great to take off. Um, so, um, when I have my tag on it, um, I have my transportation tag, but w when I take the cat off, I'll, I'll pull the block out of the nose. Um, what, I, what I do is I'll, I'll uh, start in the back side. I'll pull the pins. Because you always want to make sure your cat's dry. Um, as I went over in my put up video, you want it to dry properly, especially in the neck and uh, head area, the armpit. Um, when I dry my cats, um, they'll be on, I have air movers, big old air movers that I put on them, and then I'll put them in the sun. Um, one thing to remember when you're trying to pull a cat or an animal off, remove all the pins. We've all done it, left the pin in there, and it's not coming off, fight it, um, and then it rips, and it, then it's no good to anybody, and all your hard work went to nothing. But um, I've already pulled the, the stuff out of the ears and the eyes. Um, towards the end of the drying process, I pull my leg stretchers out just because I don't have enough sometimes. Um, but the legs are already, they're, the legs, what I call setting the legs, um, they're set within two or three days. And then I pull them out for better airflow. Um, but I'll pull the pins out of the back. Comb, comb that hair up. It's looks, This one's like a really nice fluffy cat. Um, decent belly, even with it being a female. Um, caught some really nice females this year that had a little bit better, better bellies than some males. Um, still worth money. Buyers, buyers look at the belly. I know um, be, it would be better if it was a big old tom but um but that's okay um so then i flip it over the belly side and and pull pull all the pins out of course make sure they're all out rub your fingers in there make sure there's nothing in there now this is a female um when i flesh i'll make sure to get a, some kitchen shears and i i really get as much meat without cutting the the nipple at all um, all the meat off on the skin side so that when it comes to the dry side, you know, I can feel and it is a female. I can just pick them off with my, my nail and it doesn't leave a big hole. Um, that's way, that way it's just nice and it's, it's literally the si size of, um, size of a grain of sand. So that... When they rub their hand down it, they don't feel anything. Um, if you dried it correctly, so then I'll loosen my stretcher up. Um, that's why we had the board in the nose. So we can kind of easier pound it together. Excuse me. Oh, I didn't want to them off. Make sure I got all my pins out. Okay, that's why I put a little bit of borax on it. Uh, sometimes gently. Don't want to rip that cat. Well, he doesn't want to come off. Well. Just 
had a little stick in the head area. Yeah. That, There's, there's the cap. It's, yeah, and it was completely dry. Um, I run a lot of my stretchers a little too much. I don't give them enough time to dry out in between cats. That's probably why that's stuck on. But um, it's all dry. That's another reason. When I put some borax on there, it'll help it come off. But it turned out to be a pretty good cat. Good foot up, good back on that thing. Um, some people will dry wash them. Um, I, d I don't dry wash them uh, because they're pretty much as bright and shiny as they're going to be because I washed them a couple times already. So there you have it. That's how I, that's how I pull off the cat and get it ready. Um, I'll put the transportation tag, get it tagged. Um, the eyes are big enough for a CITES tag, and it is ready to go to the sale. So.